This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 456, Why Value is the Key for All Decisions. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers, and this is the podcast that rails against fast-talking, sketchy selling. And instead, we embrace the effortless action in the Taoist style of non-pushy sales. I'm here to tell you that the best kind of selling is when the buyer sells themselves. And when the deal's done, you smile knowing that you've made somebody's life just a little bit better. From the buyer's point of view, all sellers look alike. That's why price is one of the first things buyers mention. But here's a selling secret for you. It's not what they truly want. What they want is alleviating some pain or making reality some noble aspiration. Have you heard the old tale, for the want of a nail, the kingdom was lost? The same is true when selling. When a seller fails to know the value desired by the buyer, they disrupt the Taoist Wu way of frictionless selling. Value is what matters, and it trumps all decision-making. If you can show the buyer the value they want, the sale is easy-peasy, and that's the topic for today. But before we start, make sure and subscribe to the podcast on whatever app that you're listening to, and also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and myself on LinkedIn. You can find links in the show notes. One other thing, next week, Neil Christensen will return as a guest to discuss the top 10 marketing and sales tips and tools for 2023. Neil will visit the Sales Babble studio and we'll gather around the fire to talk beer and business. This is probably, I don't know, maybe the eighth or ninth time Neil's been on the pod. And these episodes are always some of the most popular, the most downloaded episodes here on Sales Babble. Kick off the new year with some fun and practical advice. We're looking forward to having you tune in next week. And so with no further ado, let's get to it. And now today's chapter, Value is Key. The market doesn't take sides. It prefers neither you nor your competition. The buyer doesn't take sides. It regards all vendors as commodities. The space between the market and the sellers is an open door. Empty, yet sellers can enter. Opening and closing, it produces opportunities. Assuming hastens failure, check your ego, awake to the value you provide. And now today's story. At their weekly one-on-one, Pat asked Chris about a specific deal in the pipeline. Chris answered, I don't think we're going to get it. Pat was surprised. Really? I thought it was a done deal. Chris sighed, I know, I know, I did everything I could to build a relationship. I've been patient and listened and done everything right, and they appreciate all I've done. But this is the thing, we don't have the full track service, it's a deal breaker. Chris paused and then moaned, I thought people bought from people they know, like, and trust. Not if you don't give them the value they want, quipped Pat. Did you show them our semi-track functionality? It provides 80% of the value of full track. That might be enough. What exactly do they want? There was a long pause. I'm not sure, said Chris. I never asked that pointed of question. Well, said Pat, you better call them right now. Most of our clients are happy with semi-track. Talk value and turn this deal around. It's the seller's responsibility to discern 
the buyer's wants from needs. If it's a want, there are multiple ways you can overcome the objection. But if it's a need, no amount of selling is going to crack open their checkbook. Unfortunately, many sellers don't fully understand the value of their own products and services. It's up to us to explain things in plain language. The best explanation speaks to the value we bring. Roy Disney, co-founder of Disney Studios, once said that when your values are clear to you, making decisions becomes easier. That says it all, right? To download a copy of this week's Dow of Sales Babble chapter, you can find links in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links to the podcast conveniently sent to your inbox. Don't forget, next week, Neil Christensen will be returning for the, I don't know how many times, eighth, ninth time. This is one guest that's been beloved over the years. You do not want to miss this episode. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.